Well, I am really not sure what I'm going to title this video because I'm not really building a truck rack from scratch. I'm essentially just modifying one to fit my truck. So instead, I think I'm just going to give you the backstory as to why I'm working on this project in the first place. And that starts with this canoe right here. Uh, for those of you who saw last year's camping video, uh, you might remember that I went kayaking on a lake with Marley. We had a great time. Well, ever since then, I've kind of kept my eyes open for a canoe or a kayak uh, that was just the right price that I would be willing to buy. And we finally found one. Uh, but the one I found is 14 feet long and I have a six and a half foot long bed and it would be way too long to be able to take on camping trips as well as have our travel trailer back there. So then I started looking for truck racks and I found one the same day, although it was for a full size or a full length uh, truck bed. So what I'm going to do in this video is essentially just cut it down, modify it to fit my truck and uh, that's really it, but perhaps it'll be interesting and uh, anyway, let me show you the truck rack and what I plan on doing. So here's the truck rack that I picked up off of Craigslist. I got this for $125 and it's not in bad shape. It's definitely more of a lightweight truck rack. I think all of the upper railing is 16 gauge and then the lower and the middle sections are 14 gauge with angle, a uh, quarter inch angle on the bottoms but it is made for an eight foot long truck bed and my truck bed is six and a half and it seems to be just a little bit wider so what i'm going to do is basically cut off all of these legs i'm going to cut this a little bit shorter and then i'm going to mount it in the back of my truck on an ibc tote get it all leveled out and basically replace the legs and then take it off paint it and it should be good to go So the first big step is accomplished. I cut this back end off at the length that I want the truck rack to be going forward. And the reason I did that is because you can see the angles that were built into the frame, which was made for a truck bed that was much wider than mine. And instead of just cutting off those vertical supports and trying to bend everything in and potentially tweaking it, I figured I'd just take these individual components and rebuild them. So I'll put this crossbar here I will fill these in with the same one by one material and then I'll finish cutting off the front lower section. I'll mount it up in the truck and then weld uh, each of the vertical legs uh, so it custom fits to my truck and everything's nice and level.
So the milk crates did not work out too well. It was just a little bit too high. So what I did instead is use some yoga blocks as the spacers on the front. And then I just used some uh, paint cans on the back with a couple of boards. And I've measured all four corners down to this angle uh, that is sitting on the bed is about 23 and 5 eighths. So I'm gonna cut those, tack those into place and I'll probably do all the rest of the welding once I take it off and then I'll paint it. So the only thing I'm not gonna be reusing on this rack are the vertical supports. And I don't know if you can see on here, but there is a crack that goes through two sides of this vertical support. And one of the other ones had a couple of bends like it had uh, hit a tree branch or a carport. And uh, I'm just gonna use some new steel, but I will cut these uh, angled brackets out uh, so I can basically use them again as uh, I guess kind of gussets. So I'm just about finished with this and it'll be ready for paint and primer, but I noticed one thing on the existing construction. If you notice this weld right here, this is not mine, this is just when it was originally built. There is a small crack that starts here and goes along the side of that weld. So what I'm going to do is just get the angle grinder, I'm going to kind of cut a score line there to allow some space for my weld to penetrate and basically repair it and then I'll bring the weld down here. Definitely not the prettiest weld, but I think it is definitely better than it was before. And with that said, I'm going to do this other side too. Just add a weld down that, and then I'm going to prime and paint this and it'll be done. So I've got it mounted in the truck and you can see I've spared absolutely no time in utilizing it. I've got the canoe strapped on the top and you can see I have my DIY travel trailer hooked on the back because we are about ready to go on a camping trip. So I was originally planning on just ending it here, but I think maybe I will add a few kayaking or camping clips at the end of this. Um, but the other thing I'm also thinking about when I was strapping this canoe in is that instead of just keeping this a basic uh, truck rack, that's my cat Winnie, um, I may get try to get some sheet metal and add it to this portion that is over the uh, truck roof to create a little bit of a safari roof for the summertime when we have the heat bearing down. I think it would uh, be a nice little addition. Uh, but anyway, that'll just depend on if I can find it for the right price. And I don't know. I guess you'll know, you'll know in the next clips if that's the end of the video or not. I see him. We'll bring him out. Whoa. Is he yeah, I think we'll have to keep him. I think he's dead. Here, show the camera. He's not dead. Nope. Nice. Do All that right. last one. <laughs> that was pretty good. Brand new machete. Third try, but a little different out here, huh? Oh, there you go. It's it's burning. It's burning. It's you got it. See. So. 
Now we can do just a little bit of it. Well, fast forward a couple of weeks and we are back from that camping trip and the truck rack performed as you would expect. But it was holding just a canoe, so I really didn't expect any failures. But hopefully in the near future, I plan to haul some steel so that I can start on our little awning carport project for the travel trailer because as I pointed out in some of the previous videos, it's being stored on our back porch. And that's not exactly my wife's favorite place for me to store it because it kind of blocks the window and just kind of looks odd. Uh, but anyway, hopefully this was an interesting project. I know it wasn't like the most amazing thing. I was just simply modifying something that I found on Craigslist. Uh, but perhaps it'll give you some ideas that, you know, maybe with just a little bit of effort, you can find something for really cheap, modify it to uh, suit your needs, and, I don't know, enhance your life a little bit. Um, as always, I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, give this a thumbs up if you liked it. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see similar content. And also remember that you can see my videos on Rumble and Odyssey if you prefer to watch on different platforms. And uh, I think the next video might be a camping video of some of the stuff we did up there. And then uh, after that, I'm going to get back to the goats because I think I have a plan to move my rain roof project from a few years ago over to the goat area and make it or convert it into a rain roof slash hay shed barn thing and then if we ever have uh, buck goats uh, there will be a little enclosure there too so anyway i think that's pretty much it so see ya